and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. We're going to go back into Dagger Truss, if I remember correctly. Since last time, the only thing I did was go in and for the majority of labor, I created a job for it so that I can assign it specifically to the dwarves. I will show that now. So if you go down, remember last time I believe I stopped with the siege operator. But if we go here, got the mason, stone carver, butcher, and every one of these dying, you can see I've got the tanner don't have farming fields because that's already defined up above. I got the dyer, presser, beekeeping. Every one of these that I think I might need to use relatively soon is already defined individually. Just have not been assigned to the dwarves themselves. So if we go here, the miner, not really anything that I need to assign to them. The carpenter is fine. The mason, though. We look at the labors for them. Stone cutter, engraver, come down, mason, stone carving. They will handle those activities. The metal crafter can go and assign theirs as well. All the way down here, if we get to furnace operator, weapon smithing, armor, blacksmithing, metal crafting all abilities that are uh, the gray metal type abilities the planter and this is particularly annoying has a lot of hats that they wear a lot of responsibility so if we go here it's butcher tanner dyeing pressing beekeeping soap making wood burning I don't intend that all these will be used in the fort anytime soon. However, to keep them all in line with each other, I wanted to define them all first. Got the planter. Let's go somewhere. I thought I had a crafty dwarf. Got a miner, a carpenter, a mason. Metal worker, fisher dwarf, planter, expedition leader. Are they crafty? Nope. I don't actually have a crafty dwarf. Maybe I normally make my fisher dwarf the crafty one. Okay. Well, seeing as I don't have one, this might slow down the plan that I had, which was to make cups because really it should be the crafty dwarf making cups. I can wooden cup. Can't you make wooden cups? I thought you could. Are they not called cups? Maybe they're goblets. Hmm. Here I had a plan. And it's ruined. Maybe they're mugs? Maybe carpenters can't make anything. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Okay. Let's do workshops. I think... If I do the masons, not seeing it, stone worker, there we go. Let's put them over here for now. Again, plumb logs, that's fine. They're not going to be able to make cups. I need a craft dwarf, or I need to make them out of metal. And I prefer not to make them out of metal just yet. So, you know, I have a craft dwarf. That's what it comes down to. The 
will have to assign one of the dwarves to be a grass dwarf. The one I'm thinking is the fisher dwarf. Just a dabbling mechanic at this point. And if I make them a crest dwarf, they have actually a mootable skill. So if they go into a mood, I'd rather they make something interesting and they can do that better with a crafty skill. So let's give them crafty skill. Book binding, gem cutter. Yes. So they will double up as mechanic and crafty. We will also build a workshop. One for my gems. Jeweler. And make out a plum one. And for the jeweler, temporarily, because we don't have another one, we're going to make the leader our jeweler as well. That should cover most activities there. Now for planting, we need a farmer to have a still. Let's give them a little bit of space. And another workshop for farming. We'll give them a butcher. and a tanner as well. So they'll have lots of tasks ahead of them. And while we're in this, let's give them, tell them to start some farm plots. Three, four, five, six. It's more than large enough because I don't have the correct multi-select. Keep going. Should be enough for should be enough for planting. And everyone should be running to do some activities. We have that's interesting. I expected the planter to be doing this. I did not expect the fisher to be building a butcher. Why would they be doing that? Labor, can pump operator. They are not a butcher. Did I dis I did assign a butcher. Let's make sure I have this correct. Because usually if the workshop is only going to be used by one type, by one type of person, they're the ones that build it. It could be because a fisher dwarf could also, no, that'd be a fish cleaning. I'm not sure why. I do have butcher, it is correctly allocated. Don't know why, but they thought it was okay to build it. We'll let it slide this time. Add new task. What we want is the ability to see if there are any gems that need to be cut. Task, 
let's do the milk animals. And just in case we can share any, I don't think we have any that we can share, but if we can, let's get them on that. So we have this point. Farm plots being built. We have craft dwarf capable of making our rock mugs. Let's make these out of shale. And we'll just do that on repeat since our miners will not be producing more shale. Once he cancels the task, our mugs will have been built. You need mugs. We should set up a couple automated wooden uh, tasks. So wooden barrels is going to be one of them. I'll make one wooden going to make one wooden barrel but we're going to condition it if the empty barrels are less than five so we should always have four wooden barrels and we want to make our wooden barrels only out of willow we'll do the same for bins But we don't need as many bins. So we will once again do empty bins is less than three. We'll make one and then we set the material after we do the condition. That way in case we get barrels of other materials they're still counted. Same barrels or bins of other material, they're still counted rather than just being looking at wooden barrels and wooden bins that are empty. Okay, so that should take care of our barrel and bin production. And that should start being produced. We can do another one for wine production brew from fruit and make that one and just say if there is any fruit go on and do it uh, plump helmets are plants so wherever we get fermented leaves and fruit however we get them in immediately they'll be brewed i'm fine with that and then brew plants this will keep us in plump helmet wine we want to do that if our drinks fall less than 100 so they'll very quickly start brewing these plants to keep them made uh, let's make cheese once again automating this task uh, unrun milk items greater than zero so if there's any milk they'll immediately start making cheese and process plants once again unrun processable plants is greater than zero and they believe they can do it probably has some rope read so they'll immediately start processing that as soon as the work order goes through well look this the planter just milked the water buffalo that makes sense someone else is taking the water buffalo back up so if we look here we've got brew for plants make cheese process plants, milk animals, lots of tasks available for the planter. They haven't even began, begun the fields yet. We are making mugs. We should make some doors and also figure out some uh, 
some of the digging that will happen down here. So to begin, let's figure out the strategy for where our pathing. What I plan on doing is making a long meandering path for invaders to walk down. So they will walk down this path them walk all the way here and then they can exit that way so we'll build a ramp here a door here a door here I guess there'll be drawbridges so this drawbridge will be closed we'll have this drawbridge closed they'll be forced into this long path then we'll have a drawbridge here closed, so they'll be forced out. And back over here, across here, we'll have a drawbridge here closed. So then they'll go here, and we want this path to be also very long. So let's bring it down here. And then here's their escape path. So invaders come all the way down here, come out here, circle this side, then come out here, and then they've got a way back out there. This gate, this drawbridge will be open. So they'll be able, they'll think they can come through here after they go all through the bottom half. Hopefully by the time they're triggering over here, they've exhausted their will to actually invade, and they'll try and exit. I can close the drawbridge behind them, open this one up, and they will continue pouring into cages until they can exit via this route here. So the idea is just by closing and opening a few drawbridges, I can send all the invaders through well over a hundred cage traps and catch most of them, strip them of their material and then release them because I don't care about them. Uh, here, we still need to chop that down. This ramp will allow trade good caravans to come in here as long as the drawbridges are down and they're very close to the fort really should have made the stairs up. This is the plan to create stairs and put trade goods here that I plan to sell to the caravans. So they're always very easy to access. But I can worry about that later. I can always construct stairs. Let's allow our diggers to get started again. Although I think they'll be busy uh, doing other tasks. I don't think any dwarves, maybe this one, or expedition leader, no, they're, they don't have free time. I don't think any dwarves really have free time at this point. Definitely not our carpenter. They've got a ton of tasks. We're making all the rock mechanisms we can. Cutting gems, making shale mugs. Our mason might be bored, but there's a ton of stuff to move around. For plants. Look at that. So everyone is somewhat busy. So busy, they don't even have time to discount the take apart the wagon yet. 
most of the automation that the fort needs is done at this point. I'm going to do pigtails because we need some way of clothing our dwarves and plump helmets during the same season. I can get started on plump helmets right now, in fact, because we may need it. Okay, like I said, everyone's Everyone should be busy if we go to the tasks. We've got digging going on. The miner is storing on the stockpile. We've got a carpenter making a bed, planting seeds, so that's five. Making mugs, seven. Making rock, six. Making rock mechanisms, seven. Everyone is busy with tasks. A large relief so let's just queue up some more cage traps can do four of them and we can see our miners are going about doing all the digging they need to do Our automated tasks, cheese, barrels, processing plants, willow bins, drinks from plants, have all started and uh, some of them have completed. We have a bunch of beds for our dwarves. We can get, start making them individual rooms. We are getting masterwork material at this point. That is nice. Uh, cage and bins. Good. Would have been nice to get some masterwork beds. We'll work on that. Uh, we can see we brewed up all the plants we could, milked all the animals we could, sheared all the animals we could. We uh, are doing everything we can. So, we got one bins already starting to collect finished goods. Just slowly progressing. There's a lot of work for them to do at the beginning of the fort. I did a little bit of looking up of the giant wild boars. I thought they would be better than pigs. They do provide uh, ivory, which is nice, but they are not milkable as far as I can tell. So I'd rather have milk than ivory, I think. So at this point, I'm going to say they are not better than pigs and I would just keep pigs. We do have honeybees. We could start bees, but once again, that's more than the minimal minimalist fort that I think that I wanted, so I don't plan on doing that at this point. If we check our stock, look at rope. We got rope reed seeds, we got rope reed thread. So we did process our rope reed just like I thought. We could plant that right now up above and start growing it. Our planter does not seem like they're at a lack of work though. Yes, they've got things to do. And even once they're done with those things to do, there's hauling that needs to be done. So we'll give them, give them a break. Well, not a real break, but let's do one more thing. Throw a kitchen up here. Plumwood log. 
Monks. And our Mason hasn't done any work for a little bit. Let's make rock doors. Pick the rock we're making it out of. Uh, we will do shale. I wonder how many shale mugs I have. I wasn't planning on digging. 21. They're just... Okay. I'll, I'll let them build up about 60 mugs. I don't want them to be without mugs. Now summer, weather is cleared. Willow barrel. Most of the dwarves are pretty happy since they have work to do. What are you doing? Eating. Okay, you're allowed to eat. Yak cheese, apparently. No, because it's summer, you can do the pigtail planting. So the farmer will never be at uh, a lack of work. <laughs> never be for a lack of work. Usually that is the case. Traps, we need to do more cage traps out here. Five mechanisms. You can do that all along the top. I think I can do actually one there. Rush flowers. All the flowers are coming out. That's so nice. Yes, planter, very busy. Shale doors. Now the doors, I end up sticking doors there. What I'll end up doing is putting a set of doors here and a set of doors to a way and sticking a drawbridge in the middle. I want to be able to bar my doors from passing through these doors before I move the drawbridge so I don't accidentally squish them. It'll be a little while till I'm building these drawbridges, but I'm just planning ahead for it. nice if I got a migrant wave. He's just having seven dwarves is a little uh, underwhelming. Oh look, there's using the beds that are put out for them. Really should start putting out actual bedrooms. I think I'll start on this layer for their actual bedrooms. can keep manufacturing on this layer? Yes. Give them nice wide halls. The reason I'm doing nice wide halls is I think I'm going to put statues along the side and I still want them to have two wide halls to travel down. Bedrooms themselves, three by three should be sufficient. I like giving them nice rooms, relatively nice rooms, makes them happy. And that'll be eight rooms. I 
nine, ten. There will be more dwarves at some point, so it's a good idea to build for expansion. Looks like they built out the trap hallways. Excellent. I'm going to build the Trade Depot right now. Let's throw this with Plum. That'll be fine. I was just thinking, if I put a door here in the trap hallway, will could that potentially draw invaders to the door the door will have to go up which means it will end up here and i'm going to need a storage area over here that's not a big deal though what i will do is i'll build that later i'll just remember this direction i will need a storage area That will eventually go down. Let's give them a little bit of area for this eventual storage area. Just so I remember and I don't accidentally build into it later. That would be a travesty. Okay. Now, I don't have anything to trade with the caravan when it actually comes in. Which is a little bit of a problem. I was hoping I would have some nice gems for them. But it doesn't look like that's actually being created. So what I will do at this point, male reindeer is not helping me. I hate to do it, but I don't need these animals. How old is this boar? Five years. He's not too old yet. I'll keep him around. If I get some animals butchered, I can get their bones and I can start making some bone crafts and possibly cavi pat. Pup just has to go. I don't need to butcher them yet though. I don't think I'll get any more for waiting for them to grow, but I'll let them. Uh, if I have some bone crafts to trade, that would be nice. Another workshop I probably want to build is a bower. What materials do I have? Magnetite, I can make iron. I can make iron. I can make Hole. Mm. Ah, I can make copper and silver. That's good. Probably will start doing that. These plump helmet spawn. That's fine. Once they make some drink, they'll be able to. Plant the plump helmets. Let's see what animals are out there again. More storks. Don't care about storks. Let's see if I can put more cage traps out here. Four more. That's pretty good. Oh, almost. Let's uh, 
turn down the high priority of this a little bit. Give them a chance to do some other tasks. Turn down the priority there. Turn down the priority there. I think I might have enough mugs at this point. Let's check. 42. Now oh, they can make some fail mugs. Making wine, processing plants, slaughter and bull. Like I said, they've they've got a lot to do. The farmer does. We have more doors, so I can put those out. Like I said two sets of doors. There. And let's go and build a couple rock hatches. Hatch covers. We want two of those, and we're going to make them out of shale. And we will stick those right here. They will be our defense for attackers for a little while. We could probably hold off on cages for a little bit. And add new tent. I forgot, I do want one more door. The reason I want to stick it up in the bedroom. Or down in the bedroom, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll stick beds up here. Dwarves will all have their own bedrooms shortly. If you stick doors on their rooms, it makes it far easier to paint, uh, to designate the rooms later. Do I have the other door? Not yet. So in order to designate six bedrooms all at once. I can go to multi. I can drag it over all the area that is bedrooms. And it found six. Those were the six that I have and it's done. Wouldn't have been able to find a door associated with this bedroom. It would have had difficulty. Oh, we got one of the hatch covers. Let's throw that in place just to have it. Busy, busy dwarves. He said no one is relaxing at this point. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, everyone's busy. Finally, took apart the wagon. Now, that will provide two layers of cages surrounding this entrance. We're going to do two more cage traps right here. Just there's no reason not to. I'll provide a third one. And here's a fourth one. And if these end up being triggered, I'm going to be happy that uh, they were available. So, should catch 
at least four of something before they make it into the fortress proper. That is assuming they don't come in down below, which is a possibility. I'll have to solve that shortly. Ah, oh, some migrants have arrived. Looks like I missed their arrival. They came in. Ah, oh, it's funny how the river's got this little bit right there. Okay, so let's see who we got. Three new arrivals. An armor, a metal crafter, and a milker. Perfect. So, our planter needs help badly. Planting, plant gathering, you can help do those things. Just focus on that right now. What skills do they have? Milker. Alright, fine. You want help with milking? You can do that. I'll just give you everything right now. The idea, like I said, this, all the farming skills, all condensed on just a few dwarves. If I can keep all the dwarves that know farming skills under 10, I don't need to create a guild hall for them. So I expect I'll probably have nine farmers at some point. Okay, what other metal crafter? What other skills do you have? I'm master metal crafter. Okay, what about the armor? What other skills? Talented armor, skilled mechanic. Nice. So I could make them a mechanic. Did I turn the Fisher Dwarf? Yeah. I'm gonna turn his mechanic off. I don't think dabbling really is enough to impact them. I think skill might be though. And having a second mechanic is nice. Armor Smith is not generally gonna be busy enough. But, uh, stay happy well it's not gonna be that busy he'll stay happy but there's work that they can do and the metal crafter will allow you to be also a meddler so we don't want you doing armoring but you are a skilled metal crafter, so we'll have you do that. The armor, we want them specifically to do the furnace operating and armoring. They can do those tasks. And if we go to our other metal crafter, Weaponsmithing, gotta turn off armoring on them. Because I don't think that they have any of those skills. Can leave weaponsmithing and blacksmithing on. Yeah, they don't have those other skills. But I need someone doing those just in case I assign those jobs. I'd rather they do it than no one. But they're not particularly skilled at it. Is that everyone that's everyone has some job stone worker yeah everyone's got some job i might make a couple more pickaxes in order to do that i need a workshop furnace we're going to do a wood burner because we need to get our wood burner started so that we can start making lignite into coke and then start making coke using coke to 
sorry, start using coke to smelt metals. Down here, we have workshops. We will start furnace a smelter. Again, and also workshops a metalsmith. Iron in, anvil, bauxite, all that is good. Reindeer wool has been slaughtered. We need to very quickly turn the hide into uh, leather. We don't want it to rot. We also need a garbage dump area. Let's keep it kind of out of the way. We'll accept it there. And that is important so we can get this nervous tissue that is very much garbage and throw it away. Tanning hide. Oh yes, this is because we have two, two planters, two farmers. They're capable of doing multiple tasks now. One person can actually be sowing seeds. The other person can be performing the tasks, butch butchering and tanning that needs to be done. Buffalo cow. Stray yak. Come over here. Just tan as many hides as you can. furnace is made. Let's do our one piece of charcoal and we're going to make sure we burn something unimportant for that. What are the beds made of? Plum wood. So make bed. Do we have any plum wood? We do. Just gonna do this manually. I should do this through a manager, but I'm not. Let's put the hatch on. Forgot about that. Let's do the other round of traps there. Let's go to the manager. We want three more rock doors for the three more bedrooms, for the three more migrants we have. Make it out of shale. And let's put the door in the bedroom and paint it. So we've got seven bedrooms for our seven original dwarves. We have beds that anyone can use. It's kind of nice. Just in case I forget to build bedrooms at some point. Got everyone else working. Requires fuel. Apparently I haven't made any charcoal yet. Now I realize right now I am doing several tasks at once. and I need to slow it down a little bit, do fewer tasks. So with this piece of charcoal, which has been made, we hopefully will not need this shop and this workshop anymore, but I'm going to leave it there. The next task, I'm going to see what we have the ability to make. Coke from Lignite. 
just gonna turn that on repeat. Let's turn all the lignite we have into coke. At some point I'll set up a task to keep a healthy amount of coke available, but I really just want to burn through as much lignite as we have, possibly start mining it and building blocks and uh, replacing all the material in these levels with stuff I don't care about. But in order to do that, I need lignite, so I have a fuel source, and I can start uh, smelting these metals. Okay. And with that, is this cage trap still being constructed? All these? Oh, they're out here. So, our, we have layers of defense defense doors i can close to keep anything out of here more defense we're starting our metal industry we have our farm industry created and the rendering fat perfect they're doing that already it's progressing nicely we even have some bedrooms built for the original seven though we'll see who actually takes them our trap halls have been dug haven't been populated yet haven't been cleaned up but that's a task down the road we can do one more thing just perfectly uh get our down ramp set up and we're good to go. At this point, the fort has most of the industry necessary uh, for the dwarves. There's one more I would like to set up, and that is the uh, textiles. I'd like to be able to give them robes and everything else. That's We'll save that for next time. And yeah, until next time. Have a uh, good adventure of your own in Dwarf Fortress, I hope. All right, goodbye.